Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steeler Nation what's on our minds. I'm Melanie Friedlander. As the Steelers head into their final preseason game, quarterback Mitch Trubisky will again be taking the field to open the game with the other starters, followed by rookie Kenny Pickett. Like the last game and most of the recent practices, fifth-year veteran Mason Rudolph will be in the third-string position with many of the backup players fighting for roster spots. Against the Jaguars last week, head coach Mike Tomlin commented that Rudolph looked like a varsity player in a JV game. It will likely be more of the same today as well. The question of whether the team will trade Mason Rudolph has been discussed since the team signed former first-round draft pick Mitch Trubisky as soon as free agency began. Many of us expected the Steelers would gladly take a fifth-round pick for Rudolph if Kenny Pickett could show the ability to be at least a capable backup based on his training camp performance. Pickett has been that guy and more. Week one, it's almost guaranteed that Trubisky and Pickett will get helmets as QB one and two. So where does that leave Mason Rudolph? running the scout team at practice and wearing a headset on the sideline on game day? Would he really accept that when he believes he can be a starter in the league? Rudolph has been a true professional since he was drafted. He shows up and works. He doesn't complain. He expected to be the starter once Ben Roethlisberger retired, only to see the team bring in a free agent to compete with him for that role and then immediately draft a quarterback in the first round. By all reports, the three quarterbacks have been collegial and respectful of each other throughout their training camp competition. Despite that, I just can't see Rudolph accepting the role of QB3. And the closer he gets to that reality, I fully expect him to request a trade. He won't air his grievances on social media or in comments to reporters or publicly force his way out of Pittsburgh, as other players have done in recent years. But the team doesn't need to keep a player who doesn't want to be there because they have another option, which makes a lot of sense. They can sign recently released rookie quarterback Chris Oladokun to the practice squad. The Steelers liked him enough to draft him, so it wouldn't be a surprise to see them bring him back. Having Mason Rudolph as the third quarterback would be a luxury, as Josh Carney discussed yesterday in his terrible take. But as Coach Tomlin has said in the past, the Steelers want volunteers, not hostages. And I doubt Mason Rudolph will volunteer a year of his NFL career with a scout team while he watches his teammates prepare each week to play. Unless Rudolph passes Pickett to back up Trubisky week one against the Bengals, he will likely be playing for a different team. That's my take. You can follow me on Twitter at Girl Surgeon. Check out The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Follow us on SteelersDepot.com and check out The Terrible Podcast with Dave Bryan and Alex Kazora every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.